On this video, I'm going to be talking about the Travel Pro Bold series and see if it's any good. We have had our suitcases for quite a while and the last trip kind of did them in. The airlines did something to the wheels because like when you went to go roll it, it would go in a sideways direction and they messed up the handle. I wanted to find some suitcases that would actually stand up a little bit better to the airlines because we all know they are not friendly to our luggage. We definitely know that. So in my research, the suitcase line that kept coming up was Travel Pro. All of the top 10, top five, the number one or the number two was Travel Pro. So then I went to Travel Pro's website and I found the Bold series. I liked the way it looked because it looked a little more rugged. And when I went to go purchase it, they were out of stock. But then I did find them on Amazon. In my research, we didn't want a hard case because of the dents and stuff like that. We just like the soft cases better. That's just what we've had. Now, I know a lot of people love the hard cases and that's all they have, but we do like the soft case. And we always check our bag. So we weren't looking for the littlest suitcase in the entire world to carry on the plane with us because we are check bagged people. We just don't wanna mess with it. Here in Birmingham, when we fly American, it's always a tiny plane. So you have to check your bag anyway up under as you get on the plane and we see the people standing in line waiting on them to get their luggage off so it's either i stand there or i walk on out and stand at the carousel so for us checked bag is the only way that we like to go and i am a super overpacker. i love packing i am a what if packer which means i put anything in here what if i need that is me i am trying to be better but that's just who I am. I found a couple of YouTube videos on them, but I couldn't find a lot on them. There was a few that kind of showed you where pockets and stuff were. So I wanted to make this video on this suitcase. Now, this one is mine and Bill got a, like a duffel bag one, which is super cool. I almost wish I had got that one. It was actually a little bit bigger looking and it had some cool features. But I'm gonna go over both of these today. This is the 28 inch Travel Pro Bold expandable suitcase. I did not have to expand it even though I am an overpacker. It has a lot of pockets. You have this main big pocket here that goes all the way in the bottom. It fills this whole front section is this pocket. Then you've got another zipper pocket behind that. This pocket here goes about halfway down. So you've got that little section as well. And then on the inside, it has this great little section here that is waterproof that keeps like for all your toiletry items. So if they busted while you were flying and you didn't have them in a bag, you can put them in here and it will keep all your clothes safe. This section is like that half. This other half is another mesh section up here that you can put stuff in. And it even has a pocket across the back that is mesh that you can put stuff in. You can even expand this a little bit if need to be. And when you close this up, it has flaps to hold all of it together as well as like another security. I read on some of the reviews, the people said that when this was expanded, that this would not clip. clip. I filled this up extra thick just to see if it would clip and I couldn't get it not to clip. It was a little harder, but it was never not possible. Another great thing that we liked about this, it has a handle here, it has a handle on the side, and it even has a handle on the top. It's a very padded handle. I like how it feels so that if you need to pick this up and move it, you can. Now, this only has the two wheels. It does not have the four wheels because when I was doing my research and was reading, the four wheels are less protected, so they are more apt to get messed up by the airlines, where these wheels here are kind of tucked away 
and they have a less likely of them getting messed up. These are like super rubber, nice. They roll really well. And then it has, you open up on the top here and this is where your handle is. So your handle is inside of a zipper pocket. At first I was kind of like, okay, I don't like that because every time that I want to pull the handle up, I have to unzip this. So typically what we learn to do is I would leave this unzipped, except when I was checking it onto the airlines, I would zip it. That way the handle's protected. It doesn't get popped open, pulled out, ripped off by the airlines. This one is super nice and I really liked it. A lot of stuff fit in there. I didn't have any complaint. Another, and I didn't, I like, I'm just like the reviews that I read about it. Another review that I read about it said that these screw heads scratch their floor. This here keeps that from happening. I did not have a problem with this. I put it on the floor, scooted around, pushed it around, and these didn't, and they're like flush. So I don't know why or how somebody scratched their floor, but I did not have that as an issue. Now, Bill decided he wanted the duffel bag, and this is a 30 inch. Now this thing has some really cool things. While I really like the structure and everything of that suitcase, this one, I think me and him could almost, almost put all our clothes in here and make this work. It has some really cool features and I will go over all that. So this one has a handle down here that you can grab. It has two handles across the top that you can grab and hold. It's got another handle here that you can grab and that's what I was gonna say about that one is if you don't unzip this and want to pull this out, you can, I'm short enough, I can grab this and pull it. I don't have to pull out the handle, but I guess if you're a taller person, that might work for you, but I can just grab this handle and pull it fine. The duffel bag handle up at the top. So this one you can do in like a double stack scenario. You can open up this top and access the whole thing if you want to do that. Or, now, if you, this comes apart, like this is, looks really weird, but if you wanted to, you can unsnap this bottom section, and then you can zip this up. And now it's like you have two suitcases in one. You have this bottom section that you can put clothes in, and then you can zip this up, and then you have this top section that you can put clothes in. I thought that was a really cool feature. That way you can access stuff from the top or you can have to unzip it and access this from the bottom. We did not do that. We just used the whole thing, but I thought that was a great feature. If we wanted, if you needed to separate stuff for any reason, you could do that. Zippers work very well and quick and easily. We haven't had any problems. They feel like a good quality. This one as well, if you needed to, it does have an expandable zipper section that you can unzip and you can expand. It expands at maybe an inch or two. And then it's got the, the big nice clips again here for the, the bottom section to hold that together. As far as pockets, again, this one has tons of pockets. You have this main big pocket right here has little mesh pockets inside of this, but it has this whole section is a pocket. This pocket on the end, and this would be for like your toiletries and stuff. Again, it has a liner in it so that if something exploded or busted open, it would contain itself inside this section. And then you have this big mesh pocket that goes all the way across the top to put like socks and different things in it. This, because it is a duffel bag, it doesn't have as much structure as the suitcase. I'll put on the screen how much each one weighs and the dimensions and the specs and all that for you so that you can look at that. We liked the green color because we are people, when I'm traveling, I want a suitcase that I can look across and say, oh, that's my suitcase. I don't have to worry or wonder. Because our other suitcases were blue, that way, they weren't black like everybody else. And they have these in a couple of different colors. And I will link in the description box, the link to Amazon on both of these, because Travel Pro was out of them on the website, but it was cheaper on Amazon anyway. And this is an affiliate link and it helps us be able to make more videos like this. And again, this one, just like the other one, 
it has the handle that you zip up and it's hidden. If you're looking at a suitcase, we have already traveled a couple of different trips with these and have loved both of them. Like I said, they're not the, the lightest weight on the market, but I was looking for something durable. I wasn't as much looking for something lightweight just because we have had so many suitcases tore up by the airlines. I wanted something that was well made and that could stand up to them. You know, I might have to take a couple of less shirts, but that doesn't matter is if they'll hold up and I don't have to keep buying suitcases. I hope this review helped you. Till next time, like and subscribe.